So just a couple of slightly more advanced things I want to show you. Not hugely more advanced, but just ever so slightly. Um, so what if I wanted to create uh, a kind of symmetrical image where all four corners were mirrored off each other or I, I don't quite know how to explain it but you'll see exactly what I mean not just symmetrical uh, vertically but symmetrical horizontally as well um, well the easiest way to do that would be to follow the steps on the first video and then uh, use a kind of mega shortcut on Photoshop. It involves four buttons, so it's a bit of a silly one, but it's Shift, Control, Alt, and E. So Shift, Control, Alt, and E. Um, and that will create uh, what's called a stamp of all the images, uh, all the layers below. So I've got a copy of everything that was below on top. Um, and again, if I turn it off or on here with my eye, you're not actually going to see any difference at all because obviously it's identical to the layers below. Uh, what I'm now going to do is go to edit and um, transform like we did before, but this time I'm going to flip it vertically. And so now I've flipped that image, mirrored it vertically, turned that off and on, and obviously we can see quite a big difference. Now you'll remember our guides that we made earlier. So if I go to view and new guide layout, I should have saved from last time that it's still just two columns and two rows. And it's exactly the same method as it was before. Um, I'm gonna take this rectangular marquee tool, the second tool down. I'm gonna draw a nice box that sits perfectly in those guidelines. If you think you haven't quite sat perfectly in the guidelines, um, you can go up to select and deselect and then draw it again. Um, so I've done that now and I've got my Japanese flag again. And that creates an image which is symmetrical both horizontally and vertically. Now earlier I got you to go up and view and clear guides and then make a new guide layout again and what have you and that's a little bit of a faff. Actually the best way to do this um, is simply to hide your guides, which you can do with the shortcut control semicolon. That's the one next to the L. So control semicolon will turn those guides on and off. And this is what that image actually looks like now, um, which is pretty cool. Um, again, get used to control Z. It's your best friend whenever you're doing anything on Photoshop or almost any software. So I'll control Z that and get it back to this point. Cause what if I want to um, have it so the little kid is mirrored four times? Well, control and semicolon, that's next to the L, will bring my guides back. This time I'll draw my box over the top half of the image and I'll hit the Japanese flag down here on the layers menu one last time control and semicolon to turn those guides off and now i've got oops wrong button that image symmetrically four times which is pretty good fun so that's how you could do that have a play around see what you can come up with